Hey everyone, Aubrey Morel, and today I'm going to be unboxing my new pottery wheel. Uh, to give you a little bit of backstory, I've been using that wheel since I started pottery, which is about two years ago. Um, my husband bought me that wheel off of Amazon, and um, it's it has worked great um, until a couple weeks ago when. I was in the middle of a throwing session and it just quit <laughs> and um, I panicked and I could not figure out what was wrong with it so we quickly ordered <clears throat> a new wheel which I had watched some reviews um, and Pottery to the People did a review of this exact wheel and she seemed pretty pleased with it and so I decided to go with this one. Um, that wheel right there actually does still work so the issue was with our outlet we have a I think it's a CFGI I don't know the acronym um, but it had tripped the switch so we just had to reset it and then it was working again so I felt pretty ridiculous <laughs> after that but now I have a new wheel so I have two uh, which opens up a whole new level of pottery for me so if I wanted to have someone over I've got two wheels to work on so I'm excited about that and also this wheel has a 14 inch wheel head not the 9.8 inch that that one does so I can throw wider items which I'm really excited about so we're gonna open this up and see how it looks um, I believe the brand is Vevor V-E-V-O-R and um, I'll put more details um, on top of the video, I'll put some text on there, <clears throat> but on the outside, it just says ceramic machine. And on this side, um, it says <clears throat> 14 pieces, number 16. I don't really know. So I'm assuming there's 14 pieces in here, but okay. So first we have this little booklet, which is already more than that wheel came with. That wheel did not come with anything <laughs> at all. Uh, so that's good. <clears throat> Looks like they actually have it, my wheel, in their catalog. It's that one right there. You guys can't see that, but interesting. Okay, so it's from the same company, I guess. Um, it just tells you the different specs of each of those wheels. Nothing crazy big piece of cardboard. wonder what I could do with that. Oh. That's some fancy bubble wrap. I'll have to keep that too. Oh, and I have my daughter back here. She's uh, working on some ornaments for me. She's, I made some Grinch ornaments and she's cleaning up the edges. This 14 inches looks a lot bigger <laughs> than, than I thought it would. I'm so excited about it. All right, I don't wanna like, I may have to set the box down. Yeah. All right. And it's heavy, but it's not like, when you lift back the clay all the time, it's not that bad, I guess. Oh, how do I get it out? Okay, there we go. Okay. feels more sturdy than that one does. Um, first impressions, it looks kind of dirty. And then there's like where the seam is on the edge, there's like super sharp spots. So I may have to like grind those down. Just heaven knows I'll scratch myself on there. It's got them all the way around. Yeah, I don't, don't like that. The wheel is, looks super nice. So these do not come with the bat pin holes drilled. So my husband is gonna do that for me. Um, we ordered 25 14 inch bats. Um, because I'm used to throwing on bats now, which for my old wheel, he drilled the bat pin holes on that one. And he just made me some bats out of, I think it's marine board. 
that we got from Home Depot. And so he just, he's got all the woodworking stuff on that side of the shop. Um, so he was able to make me these and they have been a lifesaver. Um, but he didn't have time to make me a whole new set of them. So we ordered them this time, which is fine. Okay, these buttons look nice. Ow. See, I'm already scratching myself on those things. The foot pedal looks the same as my old one, um, as far as like quality, they look the same. Which the, the foot pedal on that one, after about a year, got really finicky, and sometimes it won't turn off when I want it to, so I have to like stomp on it. Hopefully this one doesn't do that, but um, these buttons are nice. It's got like rubber around them so that clay doesn't get down into the mechanics of that. But that's nice. Okay. And then there's like all kinds of stuff in here. I forgot that it came with extras. All right. <clears throat> Here's all the pieces. I've got our cord. Just got got what is that hmm, okay so you can reset it here if it trips so that's kind of nice um i so my splash pan is attached to the machine like i can't take it off so when i clean that one it takes me a while because I can't take it off to like dump it or anything. I have to like scrape it out. So this will be nice. Um, again, this one looks dirty, like it's been used. Why? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm sh I mean, it's fine. It's not gonna hurt anything, but when you buy something, you gotta expect a new, product, right? Um, so this is a set of trimming tools. I've never used this kind, so I don't know how I feel about them, but I mean, they're, they're cheap little, nothing crazy. I mean, we'll use them. I'll give them a shot. There's several of them. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight of them. So those will be fun to play with. And then this is an apron. I, went, I have a nice apron. My mom, so sweet, bought me a, a clay apron and it has like the split legs and I really like it. But it'll be nice. This looks like a kid size anyway. <laughs> so one of the kids can use this one. You want here? You want an apron? There you go. Look at it, it's perfect for her. I mean, I would fit an adult too, I guess, but not very well. She can have it. All right, and then I guess I don't need to open this, but um, just a set of cheap little pottery tools, which I was kind of needing a new one of these metal ribs anyway, and I could always use sponges. A new needle tool, that would be nice. Um, I like this stick piece. I use that a lot. Um, a new wire, because mine's getting kind of, yeah, those are fine, those are awesome. Okay, I don't know if, what this is to do with, but there's an Allen wrench in here. Um, let's see how the, oh. Okay, um, we'll see how this connects. I do not know if it connects like this way or that way, or does it matter? with the pan so like this being up like that is my <laughs> it's gonna be hard to get used to um but we'll try it i 
don't think this is a used wheel. I'm looking at it and there it looks like dirt or clay bits on the outside of the, like it wasn't cleaned well enough. And then it's like there's scratched parts. Um, I'm gonna get the camera up closer. Okay, you can see where there's like scratch and scuff marks there. And then these little bits right here, ouch, are super sharp. Like, that could hurt you. <laughs> um, and then on the splash pan, I'm sorry, my lighting is not the greatest for this. Um, but like, can I focus? It's like scratched here. And like, that looks like either scratches, those are like, I don't know if that's clay or if it's scratched. And then on the side of the wheel, do you see all that stuff? It's like dirty. I mean, it's gonna be fine and I'm probably gonna keep it, but when you buy something, I think it cost me $170. You expect it to be new, <laughs> not used. I'm, again, I don't want to be all negative because I'm sure the wheel itself is fine, but yeah. Okay, I've got everything unboxed. Um, I'm going to set it up and see if it fits in my wheel table. So my husband made me a custom table for that wheel so that I could <clears throat> raise it up because these are short. Um, this one actually has the expanding legs, like you can make it taller. That one did not. Um, so he made me this table so that it would be the right height for me. And then just to have space around it to put stuff on. So when I looked at the specs, this is the same width as that one, but this is wider. So we'll have to see if it fits. Hopefully it does. <laughs> Okay, I am going to swap out the old wheel for the new one to see if it fits. Grab the new one, excuse me. Size, but they're not. It is about a half inch too wide. So, um, hmm. I don't know. He may have to take the trim off up here to get it to fit. I think without the trim, it would fit. Um, so the feet themselves sit nicely on the little um, table section that's underneath. So I think it'll be okay, but yeah, we're gonna have to, it would be nice if, even if it would just sit underneath the trim. I don't think these feet can go any lower. Wonder if we took the rubbers off. Can you take the rubbers off? Cause they're like... <laughs> Thanks. I don't think I can get them off. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to have him remove the trim. I'll show you guys. Okay, don't judge my wheel space. It's very dirty, <laughs> but... So this is the setup. 
it's got this little platform here that the old wheel sat on um, and then it just fit nicely into the space. Um, with the new wheel, the feet fit within that space, so that's nice. It's just a hair too wide for this. So I'm thinking if he takes the trim off, then we can put it there. The risk with that is that when I throw, water will get um, absorbed into this, which is just, um, I wanna say it's MDF. Um, it's got plastic coating on the top, so uh, it's fine for right now. But once he removes that, we may have to, or maybe just put a thinner piece of trim there. It won't look all pretty. Well, it is dirty right now. When it's clean, it looks really pretty. Um, quick, please. So like, you can see, he spends a lot of time on this table and I just don't clean it enough. But look how nice that looks when you get it all clean. Um, so yeah, we're gonna have to play with that. I'm gonna have to have my husband help me. So, to be continued. All right, today I am finally getting to do the review on this wheel. Um, <clears throat> it's been a couple weeks since I filmed the opening part. Uh, we had shows and so I just ran out of time. But <clears throat> um, for this wheel, I did buy 25 bats. Um, they have the uh, holes in them for the bat pins, which uh, my husband's going to put the bat pins in the wheel head as long as the wheel works, right? Um, but we're not, we're going to try it out before we drill holes into this in case I need to return it. Um, so I have some of this stuff. This is just shelf liner and I use that on this wheel and it just helps to balance out the bats. Like the ones that I have, sometimes they like these are my old ones, they can warp a little bit and that just helps to keep it um, steady on the wheel. So because I don't have bat pins, I don't really have a way to secure this. So I'm just gonna try it with the shelf liner only. <laughs> I don't know, that might be a bad idea. I brought my spray bottle over here in case it helped to get it wet. I'm just not sure yet how because I'm going to be putting pressure on there, so I'm not sure if the bat will stay in place. I think I will go ahead and spray a little bit of water just to maybe help it stay better. I'm trying to center this on the wheel head. I did notice though, so these are 14 inch bats. Um, and the description said that this was a 14 inch wheel head, but I took out my measuring tape and it's 13 and three quarters inch wheel head. I don't know if that's typical. Um, I was expecting 14 inch, so these bats hang over the edge a little bit. <clears throat> um, also, last night I was um, expanding the legs to make it as tall as it could go. And on one of the legs, the holes would not line up properly. So I was only able to fit one screw back in. Um, so that's kind of <laughs> inconvenient. I mean, it's still, um, it still worked because I was able to get one screw in, but you're supposed to be able to put two in there. And I couldn't get it to fit because the light, the holes didn't line up. So that's a negative. Okay, so I've got, this is two pounds of clay. Um, I've got orders to throw today. I've got about like 35 things to throw today. So, <clears throat> just gonna, it's, everything's cold, so this might be, the clay feels a little bit hard. It got pretty chilly in here last night. I should have had the heater going and I didn't, but just trying to get this into a ball shape. I wedged all these balls up last night, so. All right. Um, I've already got the wheel going the direction I like. Um, all right. I thought we were do. Yeah, that's not gonna work. So, pause. Okay, 
let's try this again. I put some uh, double-sided tape underneath and then stuck it down. So I think that'll work. Now things are kind of like in an odd place, so <laughs> it's gonna take some getting used to. This is my old wheel here um, with my wheel table. This did not fit in there. So I'm sitting lower to the ground than normal. Um, we'll just see. <laughs> yeah, let's see how long it takes to get the hang of it. Yeah, I'm sitting at a really weird angle <laughs> for me anyway. I wish the wheel would be just like this much taller. <clears throat> getting it to go slow. There are times that I need that. Um, I mean, I guess when I had it going the other direction, it was giving me trouble, but this way it seems fine. Pin is taller than the wheel head, 
so I wasn't sure if I would like that or not. I think this is typical. That's atypical. Um, but I'm, I actually kind of like having the splash pan taller because it gives me something to rest my hand on for stability. I get focused when I'm pulling off. <laughs> Takes concentration. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, you saw my un my opening video or portion of this this video. Ah. Not focusing. Um, And there are some things about the wheel that I am displeased with, just the quality of like the base and the sharp edges of it, like those are sharp. Um, the wheel head looked dirty, like it had been used. And you know, in the end, that's not a huge problem as long as the wheel works because it's, I'm gonna be the one making it dirty anyway. I just, it's just one of those things when you buy something, you know, you want it to be new. You want to be the one to break it in, right? Um, so not a huge deal, but I wasn't happy with that. <laughs> um, so impressions as I'm throwing, it's fine. You know, it's a fine wheel. It does what I need it to. Splash pan is different than I'm used to. We'll see how that goes. I've never used one like that. That's the only wheel I've ever had, and it's, it, you know, it was a cheap wheel as well, but um, it's what I got used to, you know. Uh, it had its problems too, and that's fine. It's cheap, that's what you get when you buy cheap stuff. Someday I'll buy me a black pottery Brent wheel, and, um, you know, find things I love and dislike about it, I'm sure, but, uh, I mean, I need to throw with some heavier clay to really test it out. I think the heaviest that I'm throwing today is two and a half pounds, so not, it's not really going to make that much of a difference, but the speed control is nice. Um, the wheel head seems level, and... I mean, it's gonna work. It's, I don't have, aside from the cosmetic issues, like, I'm fine with it. I will probably, I'm gonna keep it. <laughs> I'll let my husband put the bat pins in. Just gotta figure out a sitting situation because this is, I don't know if I like sitting this low to the ground. I feel like I'm crouched a little bit. Woo! jumped up and speed there. It is hard to like ease into that low speed. You can go full speed and then back down to it, but like just starting out, like, I'm gonna try. See, it's like <laughs> all there when you barely do it. But I can like back down to that low speed. Yeah. Oh well. Okay, right, I'm gonna clean up the foot on this. Um, my chamois. Well, these bats are great. They're from the ceramic shop. And uh, when you order in bulk, they give discounts on stuff. So I got 25 because you know, on a busy day, that's about how much I can throw is 25 things. That's not what I want. Um, so I just forked over the money and got it over with. My husband didn't have time to make me uh, new ones. He did make me my previous ones and they worked great too. I think it's the same material. Marine board or I don't really know what it is, but 
it works well as long as you clean them up and don't get them overly wet you know the mistake I made the first time he made them the first he made me I think 15 of them the first time and then another 15 the second time first time I like took them to the sink and washed them off which why would I'm you know I wasn't smart but so those didn't last as long the new set that he made me um have been really great lasting and everything okay <clears throat> all right let's wire it off and try to get this bat <laughs> off the wheel head <laughs> So this is taped on there. I don't spin the wheel head as I'm wiring off. I have tried that and I always end up ruining my piece. So I just leave it still, wire it off. Um, I'm gonna soak up some of the water that's on there. to do this off camera. <laughs> Get my screwdriver out. Yeah, we're gonna have to. But that's fine. So the wheel itself, um, would I buy it again? Probably. Uh, just if you're looking for a wheel on a budget, yes, I would buy it again. I wish that they would work on the cosmetic part of it more. Um, but otherwise, it's a good wheel. And uh, I'm, I'm sure I'll be happy with it once I get situated and figure out, you know, where I'm going to put it and sit, you know, all that stuff. Um, anyway, I've seen, I mean, from the other review videos I've seen, it's about the same as what they've said. Um, it's going to be a good wheel and I'm going to keep it and it'll be great for me throwing on and then someone else can use the old one. Um, so yeah. In the end, I'm happy with it. And, you know, you get what you pay for. <laughs> but that's it, that's the review. If you guys have any more questions about it, please feel free to reach out to me because I am happy to answer any questions. Try things out so you don't have to before you buy it. Um, if you wanna see me throw with more clay um, or just anything else that you can think of, let me know, I'm willing to try it for you. And that'll be it. So thanks for watching. Um, if you have any tips or tricks on this wheel, let me know. And I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching.